Welcome to Chuck Builds. I've got a quick one for us today. This is pretty specific to Image, the Docker container for self-hosted images. The latest update has required that you move to Postgres SQL uh, 14 or higher because of some kind of mod that they need to run with Postgres. I previously was on Postgres 13 and that was my DaVinci Resolve server share for where I edit these YouTube videos and save those. And then um, it was also my image storage area. So I just did this with DaVinci, made sure the commands and everything works. And it's maybe not the most intuitive thing if you're not really into this stuff. Um, I, it kind of took me a second to figure this out. So I'm going to record it. Um, the specific use case that I have is that I have Postgres 14 and I have Postgres 13 as Docker containers and they both want the same port. I need the same port because if DaVinci Resolve doesn't let you change the port. We're going to need another Docker container called Adminer. Um, I got this on the Unraid Community App Store. It'll let you log into your Postgres or MySQL databases with a GUI and I kind of like that because I'm not that comfortable with SQL. First thing, once it's open, is we want to choose Postgres SQL and then we need to choose our server and we need the port. The 5432 is the default for Postgres. Username is Postgres, password pasted, and then I'm not going to enter a database. I want to see what's there. That's what we're going to be backing up here. And so here we have the names of all of our databases. And we're also going to look at our Docker container here, which if you're not used to Unraid, this might be a little overwhelming. We're looking right here at Postgres 13, going to come across and we see this storage line. Um, this is your mapping. So the mapping of the inside of the Docker container to the place it's stored on my server that I can get to with a folder. Um, and it's just my app data folder and then how it's mapped internally. And we're gonna use copy and pasting here of some scripts that are commands that we'll put into Docker. This is uh, Docker scripts. So we'll come over to Postgres 13 and then console. And we're gonna control shift V to paste and I'll break this down real quick. So to break this down real quick, we are using the Docker commands pg dump and pg restore. This is the username for the Postgres server. This is the address of the Postgres server. This is the port of the Postgres server. And then um, this fcf is commands needed to create this, this dump file. And so this file right here this file path is what we got out of our Docker mapping. The var lib Postgres SQL data is where the Docker container is gonna put the file, but then we're gonna to go to the mapping of where Unraid has the file. Um, and then this is the name of the database that you wanna you wanna back up or that you wanna export. So we'll copy this. Control Shift V to paste, and we'll press enter. It'll ask for the password. So I'm gonna get it from my other screen. So I pasted it and I'll press enter. And before we close this, we're gonna to navigate to that folder. So to verify that it created the dump file here, we're gonna come back to Unraid and we're gonna open the terminal and we're gonna type the letters MC. It's called Midnight Commander and um, it gets you a little file transfer at root. Um, so we're gonna go up to the root navigation. And we're gonna to to mount MNT user app data and then we're going to come down to postgres sql 13 and we can see we have our image.dump file right here so on this right side i'm going to click here to get back to the top navigation and i'm going to go to the same folder user app data postgres sql but i'm going to go to 14 this time on the left side of the window i'm going to come over here and click on image dump and we're gonna come down and copy, which down here says five, which is F5. We're gonna to wanna to copy image dump to Postgres 14. It's just the other window across the way here, but make sure that this is right, right in here. And then we'll click okay. And it's real quick and it got moved. So we can close Midnight Commander. And if you had multiple databases that you were backing up, like Unraid Postgres image and Postgres as databases, you would run this each time choosing the different database here and then changing the name here so that you don't overwrite your dump files. But this is how you make multiple, just run this command again and again with each database. And then we'll come over here to Postgres 13 and turn it off. 
We'll hit stop, refresh. We can see we got disconnected and then we'll come turn on Postgres 14. And it's gonna be for me, the same information, the same port, same server, um, just a different container, add the same username. And then I'll have my password and I'm not gonna put a database again. I wanna see all the databases. And I have a database here called image two, which is what image created when it started up. And I did a backup in my other video, but this one, we're gonna create the database just called image all lowercase and click save. And then we're gonna come and look at our next copy paste script. It's PG restore with a username as what we use for me Postgres, um, the host IP address port, the port that we're using, um, and then dash D the name of the database that we are putting it into. So if you wanted to change the name of the database, you could do that. And just instead of naming it image here, you can name it something else. But for this specific case, we're using image. And then the name of the file, but you can't forget that we're getting it out of the var lib PostgreSQL data. This is the Docker container inside of the Docker container, what it can see. And then the file that we just copied and pasted there using Midnight Commander. So we'll copy this, we'll come back over to Unraid and we'll click on Postgres, then console, control shift V to paste, and we'll let it run. And now that it's done running, we can go check and see in Adminer. We can click on image and see if there's anything inside of it now, and there is. So it looks like it ran into be certain. We'll start the image container and all of our stuff's there. It worked, two commands, not too bad overall. Just wasn't intuitive for, to me. So hopefully this helps somebody put it out there. Thanks for watching.